Hey there, family. I am really supposed to be up packing for our trip on Monday. It is now Friday evening. I just got home from getting my hair braided. It's pulled back. It's cute. But I have not put anything in my suitcase. Not one thing. But we're going to pack together. And it's been a struggle because my stuff is everywhere. We had to go to the storage to get the suitcases. You know, several of my clothes are still in the main storage. And my mother-in-law's, my mom's, and I mean, everywhere. I mean, some things are I can get to easier than others because, you know, I don't want it to, you know, go bad or anything. But for the most part, we are here struggling and that is why I have not packed it. I have pulled some things out and just pulled them together, but I have not packed. So I'm gonna get up in a few minutes and, and do that. And then tomorrow I gotta go get these nails done. This baby, they are way past two. I was waiting until it got closer to us to go out of town. I was supposed to get it done today, but that's a whole nother story. Just a long day. But today, gotta pack got a pack just don't have any more more time i have two meetings tomorrow and a nail appointment have church on sunday and really do not want to be packing sunday night because we go going to cabo and i don't have time to be forgetting a whole bunch of stuff anyway let's get ready to pack let me get out of this bed and get ready to pack okay as i said empty nothing is in this suitcase now that my husband is gone to go get us something to eat, I can start packing because that TV was extremely loud. I don't know if y'all heard it when I was in the bed trying to decide if I was gonna get up and start packing. But I was like, sir, why does it sound like we're in the movies? But anyway, where do I start? I'm like really frustrated with myself because first of all, whenever I pack for like a trip especially a trip like this we're going to Cabo my friend is getting married I'm super excited for her and it's just going to be beautiful and yay 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 but it's like trying to pack when your stuff is in disarray and you don't really have your zing yo is it your zing your zen whatever you see I don't have none of it it's not, I'm not feeling it. Cause typically what I do, and I still did it in this case, is I always write out an uh, itinerary of what we're gonna do. And it really helps me to pack, you know, and make sure that I have everything that I'm going to need. If I don't have something so I can know, okay, we need to go to the store and get it. And that's why I need to go ahead and pack now so we can go to the store tomorrow while we're out running errands. So we're gonna get there Monday and really like, I just wanna just like chill and enjoy the resort. It's not going to be extremely hot because this is not the really hot month for Cabo, but the weather's gonna be nice. I think it's gonna feel, ooh, last time we checked, I'm gonna check again. Then my husband said 70s, 80s. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be nice. Tuesday, we're gonna do a camel ride and Mexican buffet. So we wanna, I got something real comfortable and cute for that. That Wednesday, are going, we're going to the Zen Spa. Yay, can't wait. That's actually when the bride are getting in, so to hug on her so yes we actually get there before the ride gets there we need this vacation it's been way too much going on so when i tell you like mentally we're ready but that's just about it that's just about it because i'm looking over here because it's just like you will see it in a minute it's just like a pile of clothes just here thursday uh she's having a meet and greet so i have some for that and then she's gonna do um we're gonna have dinner on the property and then friday a dress rehearsal, the welcome party for the rehearsal dinner because that's when all of the wedding parties should be there. And then Saturday is the wedding. And then for everyone that will still be there, she wants us to do this sunset cruise that Sunday. Some people actually leave on Sunday. I mean, my husband's not leaving until Monday and we'll leave on out 
Monday. So we're going to be there for a whole week. Ready for it because trust me, when we get back, I planned it out because I do this on every vacation. That next day, just nothing. Rest. Decompress from vacation so we can prepare to hit it. So, And when I tell you we're going to hit it, we're going to hit it. I need to get started. But when I tell you it's just a pile of clothes, it's just up here. It's literally just a pile of clothes, just up here that I pulled out. What is that? No, ma'am, let's pack. Now what I need to do is, excuse me there, excuse me, sir. What I need to do, yes, sir. No rubs right now. Is pull out underwear at the same time I am pulling out clothes. Listen, this is a journey because I don't feel like doing it. Have this little warm up that I'm thinking will be something that I'm going to wear on the plane going to Cabo because it is lightweight but it'll give me a little comfort while being on that plane because you know sometimes planes can be cold. Oh, I need to try this bridesmaid dress on one more time. So I need to do that like ASAP. Picked it up yesterday, was supposed to try it on yesterday. Did not. Just get it together, people. Get it together. Oh, this is some loungewear for the room. Don't date the tags, but y'all, I did not go and buy anything for this trip. This stuff has been in the closet or in storage and just have been there because it's been packed away. I was like, I do not need to buy anything for this trip. I have plenty, plenty. So this is gonna be one of the lounge things. So I think I'm gonna put my lounge stuff on this side. I'm just putting this up here right now because I'm gonna take the hangers off. But this is where my underclothes and stuff will be. Maybe. No. 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 Over here. Yeah. I'm thinking with my shoes. Y'all ain't been on a trip where I had to pack this suitcase in so long. Like I told you, it was in the big storage. <sighs> Work with me. Work with me. Like I said, it's going to be in the 70s or 80s, so it's not going to be real hot. So not bringing a lot of like short sets and things like that because the nighttime it might be a little cold, right? I'm not gonna get caught slipping. So I have a little short sleeve warm up and this can be for what day? Let me get my itinerary. Ooh. Let's see here. I don't know if I wanna, work. I wanna be more relaxed on the camera rides. We'll set it to the side. Cause a lot of times I pull out more clothes than I need. Cause you know, you always need some extra, extra clothes. I think I'm gonna wear this to the spa. Yeah. You know, you wanna be nice and comfortable. So this would be Wednesday. And pretty much whenever I go to the spa, I usually like to go to the spa near the end of our trip when we are preparing to leave and it's just like, Okay, time to wind down and relax. But because of all the activities, how they're flowing and the meet and greet, the rehearsal, the wedding, and then we have the sunset cruise that Sunday and then we're leaving the next day. That's why I said, you know, we're gonna go ahead and do it midweek. The sunset cruise is a sunset cruise, so we're gonna get back late and the spa will more than likely um, be closed. So this would be for that Wednesday. So we have one outfit for the week right there. This is definitely a extra outfit that I want to just take, you know, it is some shorts and a hoodie, you know, where you just like walking around the resort at night and it's like a little cooler, but it's not cold, you know, but you, you know, gonna be looking cute and still be not freezing, cause you just never know. Got that. Oh yeah. These are the pants I pulled out for 
the um, camel ride because I wanted to just be nice and comfortable. Nice and comfortable. Yes. And this bodysuit, one shoulder bodysuit, be nice and comfortable. So this would be Tuesday and we'll probably like, you know, Tuesday night where we're chilling. Spa day, that's like chill all day, like I said. Oh, the meet and greet. Well, we were doing her bridal shower. We had got these bridal squash shirts during the day. So I'm gonna wear this and some jeans that morning. That's on Thursday. This cute little dress for the dinner on the property that evening. Y'all still need to pull out shoes for this stuff. I'm trying to wear like little, mostly like little sandals and stuff so they'll fit a lot in here. This is just like a little lounge um, dress that I'm just taking when you want to throw on something and, you know, walk around like, and just, you always got to have that little stuff. And then for the dress rehearsal, throw all the bridal uh, squad uh, t-shirt on, throw these shorts on and go to the dress rehearsal while we change to our clothes and cause that'll be in and in and out. And then for the rehearsal dinner, baby, what? Ain't this cute? Yes, ain't that cute? Uh, that's for the rehearsal dinner. Then that's Saturday. Oh yeah, this is also the Sunset Cruise. Sunset Cruise, cause this is, this is the one where you can uh, dress up and down. So this was for the Sunset Cruise. That's what that was for. <laughs> Leggings and grab a t-shirt for that. So we're back on the plane. I grabbed a couple of pair of leggings, you know, more lounge stuff. I gotta grab some pajamas. I'm even gonna take two workout things so I can attempt to work out at least twice while we are out. Attempt, I dug up two of my swimsuits. I do not know where the other ones are, they're, they're in storage. I know I have probably left these so I can get close to them so I can have two of them out in the cover up. I don't know where my other cover up is, but hey, listen, this is what we work with. Cause like I said, the struggle is real when you have your stuff everywhere. So now I need to get a t-shirt for Monday when we are coming back, some workout stuff. Pull my underwear stuff out to pack and I'll get my toiletries. Y'all saw the outfits. So now I have to kind of pull the rest of the stuff together. I know we are getting our makeup done for the wedding. Uh, she's finding her makeup artist. I don't really plan on wearing a whole lot of makeup while I'm out there. You know, it's just these very light. No one I'm gonna get bring my sunscreen. Yeah, let me think, let me think, let me think. Okay, family, so it is the next day and I'm still not done packing. What well, was supposed to take one day to pack, have everything done? Obviously it's gonna take three because I'm not gonna be done tonight either because it has gotten late. I've had a full day, several meetings this morning at church. I had uh, to go get these nails done. Trying something new, this little clear, like gel, polish, like cute, huh? But anyway, and a couple other errands I had to run to go pick up some stuff so we wouldn't have to do it tomorrow at the church. And I did not want to be packing after church. But guess what? I'm gonna have to. But this is what I have so far. I do have something in the suitcase, okay? And now I do have shoes out. So I have shoes out to pack. I just have to like put them together and make sure they line up with the right outfits. And then tomorrow, all I should have to pack is toiletries. <sighs> Aren't these cute? I haven't worn these. Got these from some cute little shop somewhere, but don't remember what. Go ahead and take them. They may get worn this time around. We'll see. But let me start by pulling out outfit for outfit 
and then match them up with the shoes. Let's try that. For the camel ride, I'm not sure if we will need closed toe shoes or not. So I think I'm gonna just bring these little comfortable shoes, another pair of shoes, just in case, because I'm not sure on the requirements. I need to go back and read read it again if we need to have closed toe shoes. But then I also have another pair of shoes that I'm gonna put with this or later later on to kind of dress it back up a bit. This will be, um, yeah, like these right here. Cause I know I would not be wearing these on the camel ride. So like these will dress the outfit um, back up a bit. So we'll get that for that is for Tuesday. Spa day, just gonna just kind of have some sandals. Maybe the uh, ones that I pulled out, I have several sandals I'm just bringing, but those are just gonna be like sandal type slides and that will be that entire Wednesday. Relaxing day and get ready for the festivities. Cruises. Sunday. That's why I have an itinerary because my husband right. be trying to keep up with the uh Hey, I'm listen, I'm just telling people why I have my itinerary so my husband can know what's going on. You there there you go. There you go. Sir just make sure your stuff is packed. Cause I'm not gonna even show you his pile that's sitting up here on the sofa. <laughs> that's your personal business. Why we gonna let my husband figure out his packing thing in minutes? I am really trying to avoid taking so many pair of shoes, but I feel like I can't, and it's frustrating me. But anyway, I think I'm gonna take these for this little get up, and like for my little casual stuff, I got just some plain black and white sneakers. I'm trying to see if I want to take two pair of sneakers or just one. And do I need to take those shoes? I really don't want to. So I still need to put my heels in here for the waiting. So this is what happens when you are packing at the last minute. But I did find out today that there is a Walmart in the middle of town. So, if all else fails, I have somewhere to go to get necessities. I'm going to pack up about two more pair of shoes and... Yes, husband, can I help you? She's got it. She's always ahead of the game, packing way before me. I'll pack tomorrow night. Y'all, listen. And he gonna ask me about 30 times, baby, what's the day again? What you wearing on this day? What you wearing on this day? How about this day? Well, my stuff is already in the suitcase. It's been a long day, long day. I will finish up with the toiletries tomorrow after church. So what was supposed to take one day is taking three, but it's all good. I'm gonna breathe, breathe today and just Get through it at the church. We don't have anything else to do but to come and pack and rest and get ready for our flight. Okay. Hey, family. It's Sunday. Had a wonderful worship service. Just got through uh, trying on uh, my bridesmaid's dress with the shoes. Everything has been cinched in and fits to perfection. So yay, drags the ground perfectly. So great, because we leave tomorrow. So smart idea to like, you know, try it on the day before, right? Yeah, okay, Kedra. Went to my sister's house, had dinner, and then I was like, nope, I'm not gonna lay down. I'm not doing anything until I pack up these toiletries. I have everything else packed, and then I'm going to gather all of our travel documents 
make sure, you know, we have the time that we're supposed to be leaving out, our passports and transportation. They're supposed to be picking us up from the airport. My toiletries, surprisingly, because I just started gathering them together before I got on camera, because like I said, the space in here is kind of difficult, you know, to film because everything is in everywhere, you know, or not here at all. I don't have all of my little toiletry bags that I would usually have because I actually have a toiletry vacation bag that I basically keep packed that has been packed up, which once I move, I'll find it and probably have to, you know, unpack it, throw some stuff away and, you know, repack it. But I keep that so I don't have to, you know, go out and just, you know, be buying toothpaste and toothbrushes and all that stuff. So I keep it already packed, good to go. Boom, and it's ready. The bag is pretty much packed. That's the dress. Trust me, it's not balled up. It's just all that plastic, but I'm gonna get it steamed when I get there anyway, cause I didn't want to just be trying to travel with all these hang up bags and all that, just, well, no. Anyway, and I don't even know what my main one is. I think I left that one in the storage. This is just a bag full of just bracelets and th watches and things like that. You know, my little jewelry. I just grabbed several, several pieces of jewelry in. Yes, I did throw it in there, but it's okay. It'll be fine. I need to grab some necklaces. Now that I think about that, because I did not throw them in there because I didn't want them to be tangled up. Okay, I went to go grab a couple of necklaces. I'm gonna try to lay them in the zipper part because I don't have my bag that has my necklace hanger in there. No, better yet, let me see if I can just stick them up under something. Maybe wrap them in something. That way they won't be so tight. Let's do that. I'm gonna wrap them in a t-shirt. I'm gonna wrap a t-shirt around the wrapper. Yeah. Okay. What I did was I just grabbed like a couple of things. Because like I said, I don't have all of my stuff. And I wasn't about to go and just buy a whole bunch of stuff. So I made sure I had perfume, the serene. I'm not really gonna be wearing a whole lot of makeup, so just a couple of like lip liner, eyebrow stuff. This is like a skin serum. Yeah, a skin serum. So I'm gonna take this just to have something on if I need to, feel like I need to put something on for like the rehearsal dinner or something like that. But that's gonna be mostly it. Toothbrush, I think I got my, yeah, nothing of toothpaste in there. My scrunchies, cause I'm gonna be wearing my hair up. I probably will not take this whole bag. Let me go through these scrunchies. Got my hurry. Baby, this stuff is amazing, amazing. Love it. Gonna get this stuff packed up real quick. Well, family, I am finally done. I am packed and ready to go. Zipped in and zipped up over here. Boom. I love keeping these bags to put stuff in, especially when I am not uh, just uh, don't have everything that I need, like all my little travel stuff. So. That is all zipped in there. Got everything over there and it's still plenty of room over here. Got my outfit out for what I'm wearing on the plane. Going to get that iron in a little bit. But my suitcase is lightweight. Believe it or not, even though I didn't pack it the best. It's still pretty light. Even though it took me three days <laughs> to do something that Typically, I could have had, I know, done it in a day, you know, just because I'm, when I typically pack for a trip, you guys seen me pack for a trip before. I pull everything out, I have all of my stuff together, lay it out, spread it out, ready to go. Needless to say, I'm leaving to go out the country and my stuff is everywhere, but we made it work. If you are in the same position as I, it could be done. And it's 
All the more reason why you should get out of town. Even if you cannot go out the country, take a staycay and just go breathe and relax because we need it. What I'm getting ready to do, because I am going to bed early, it is, what, a little after five and I'm done packing, so I am about to get all of my travel documents together, get my clothes ready for uh, tomorrow, and take a shower, and I'm going to bed. I plan on being in the bed by nine o'clock because I do not want to be up and dragging in the morning. I want to be ready and yes, ready. Ready for this trip, ready for some fun, relaxing time, and ready to see my girl get married. So guess what? I will see you all later. Probably in Cabo. Bye.